welcome to our sh- hello everyone it's me Lulu. Well, welcome to our show today it's me Lulu and my violin Bob and today I just played for you right now was nearer my god to thee also played in the Titanic check it out if you haven't seen it yet and today I'll be talking to you about five things that I have learned while playing the violin as an orchestra student but before we start please make sure to like comment share and subscribe 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 and hit the notification bell so you don't get to miss any of our videos once we post them and you can also follow us on Instagram Twitter and Facebook and check out all the other shows and clue talk with my dad but before we be so now that we have started let's talk about five things that I have learned while playing the violin so as an orchestra student, there's a bunch of things that I have learned that I never knew before and stuff that I keep that I keep on working on every single day along with my fellow orchestra peers and other people who play instruments just like me. And there's a bunch of things that we all learn while we go through this journey together. Like I learned a bunch of stuff while I was playing the violin this year and last year for the past two years that I've been playing the violin. So. The, so these are five things that I've learned. So the first one that I, that I really found that was really, really important was to be patient. When you play the violin, you don't always get the best results. Like when I started out, I could not play, could not read my music, I could not play. I could not really, really put myself out there and play very well. And also, I had really, I was really scared that other people would not like the way I played. And I also saw other people who are way better than me, learning way quicker than me. And I had a really slower pace and I felt really bad about it. But one thing that I learned I was, that I was growing up and my teacher told me was that I need to learn how to be patient. That means that as you play your violin or your, or your other instruments that other people play, you, you see, you always have to make sure to be patient and always take your time when you play because you don't have to wait for the best results right away. They need to take time. This is always why we practice, we play, we always rehearse together. And that's what, that what, makes, well, that what makes us become patient and that's what makes us become better players. And th- that being patient also helps you to be proud of yourself and also practice better because also being patient that means that even when you practice you don't just put an hour out there you also put the, put out this test that you think that you're making you're doing wrong and you keep on practicing and practicing and practicing until you get better that's why in every other or- orchestral or other instrument playing 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 segments you always have to practice so that you and all the other players get to play together and see which one which other people which other page people are on and what to do and number two one two the second thing that i learned was togetherness how to work together so as I, as i said before there's a bunch of people in orchestra and other and other musical segments. But the thing is, you have to learn how to work together to always put the music together. Because, you know, when you play the when you play the violin and you are in a family of a bunch of orchestras, like for example, we're not just the violin orchestra, we have the bass, the viola, the cello, and a bunch of other instruments, and we all have to learn how to work together to, to, to make sure that we're okay. So that's how we have rehearsals together, orchestral rehearsals, and we also help each other get better. So we have to learn how to work together and not just compromise, but synergize. Learn how to learn how not, not only to compromise with each other, but make each other become better and stronger as we keep on moving. And number three, one the third thing that I learned is how to be a good sportsmanship, a good winner. So another thing that I learned while playing the violin is that we have a bunch of we have a bunch of, of orchestral events. Like for example, UIL for the kids, we used we go to other play, to other orchestras and we learn how to play together. And we also have the concerts and the and the en- ensemble contests that we use to come and play together. And we all have to compete for it. So now one thing that really helped me was that to learn that 
we we are not always going to win as you go as you go through orchestra. But one thing we need to learn that we learn is that you have to make sure that you're a good winner and a good loser. That means that even though you win, you don't just rub it into other people's faces. And when you root and when you lose, you need to learn how to be proud of other people and say, I did my best and I'm proud of myself. And that's one thing that I also think that everybody, other other people need to know because as you go on in life, not everybody gets the first spot, but you all have to learn how to be how to be a good sportsman and help other people get better and help yourself get better by asking other people for help. And that's what being a good sportsman is, or a good orchestra man and orchestra term. <laughs> and number four, one of the four things that I learned is how to concentrate. So as I went through orchestra, one of the things that we need to learn is to concentrate, to listen to the beats, the sounds, the movements that the orchestra conductor makes, and he tells us to do. So one thing that I've learned throughout this thing is to concentrate, to pay attention, because paying attention not only helps me to get better at my music, but to also listen to other people's advice and other things. Because as you go through orchestra, you also need to learn how to pay attention when they're showing you stuff. Like the way I show you how I play my music. That's how the teachers used to do it, and they used to, and they used to play and play and play, and teach us how to play well. So if it weren't for my teachers, I won't be the way I am today because I need, because they, they taught me and taught me and taught me. And they also taught me how to pay attention because paying attention not only helps you to get more of the music, but to also learn other, other things from the teacher, like how to read the music or to even ask questions about what the teacher is saying. Like for example, a music note that you don't understand or some music that you think you need help on. So that what being, being, concent being con concentrating means because you need to learn how to concentrate so you get ahead in the orchestra. And number five, this is the most important one of the orchestra, is to follow instructions. One thing that I've learned throughout all of my school years, even before I even started playing orchestra, is to learn how to, play, how to follow instructions. So when you play in the orchestra, you should, when, or in orchestra concert, you will see the conductor waving his hands on his baton. That's what he's doing is to show us, to showing us what we're supposed to do, whether we should play slowly or play quickly. So one thing that I've learned is to how to follow instructions and the sure gives us instructions. We're supposed to follow them. So it, orchestra has really helped me to learn how to follow instructions because when we, when, when we play, we're supposed to learn how to one, not only to understand the conductor's movements and, and to two, for two, to understand what he's trying to tell us. Because when you follow instructions, not only are you understanding what the teacher is saying, but how are you gonna interpret it into your, into your sound? So when she says, play in this tempo at this speed, you're supposed to learn how to play at this, at this speed, but also to do your best while you're playing the speed so you don't really sound like you're not playing as much because when you see somebody playing faster than the orchestra, it usually messes up the whole entire music piece and we have to start all over again. So orchestra has really helped me to learn how to do all these things, including, including learning how to not only to be together, the fourth, the fifth thing all of the orchestra has taught me is to learn how to pay attention to all my peers and to learn how to learn from others and also learn to, for myself. And that's what orchestra has taught me. Thank you so much for listening to all the stuff that I've learned in orchestra. And I hope you learned a lot just as much as I did. And thank you so much for tuning into our episode. And I hope you like, comment, share, and subscribe just the way I told you. But before we end this show, I'm going to give you two seconds to subscribe to all the newcomers. Two seconds to subscribe. Are you ready? One. Two, thank you so much for subscribing and make sure to hit to hit the like bell and always to go and check out us, us in Facebook, Twitter, and in Instagram and to see all our sneak peeks for all our other videos. And I'll see you in learning languages with Lulu.